acetaminophen, the active ingredient in Tylenol, and paracetamol, the active ingredient in Panadol, are the exact same drug. So why do they have different names? Both are contractions of the drug's scientific name, N4-hydroxyphenylacetamide, but they follow different naming conventions put forward by different regulatory bodies. Acetaminophen derives from acetylaminophenol, which is just a way of describing its chemical structure, as you can see here. This is its USAN, or US Adopted Name, which was given to it by the USAN Council, which consists of members from multiple organizations, including the American Medical Association and the US Food and Drug Administration. Obviously, this is the name used in the US, but it's also used in Canada and Japan. Pretty much everyone else calls it paracetamol, which derives from paraacetylaminol, which is just another way of describing its chemical structure, as you can see here. This is the drug's INN, or International Non-Proprietary Name, which is given to it by the World Health Organization. No matter what name you use, this is one of the most commonly taken medications around the world. It's often available over the counter and is used to treat mild pain and fever. But taking too much can be harmful to your liver, which is exacerbated by the fact that the medication appears in hundreds of other products. But as long as you're aware of what you're taking and ensure that you stay within recommended doses, it's perfectly safe even if you're pregnant.